Good afternoon and welcome to the Florida Rural Infrastructure Fund application webinar for the RIF Panhandle Special Appropriation Funds category. I want to thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to attend this important webinar. I am Sharita Jackson, Deputy Bureau Chief for the Bureau of Small Cities and Rural Communities. Today, we are going to provide you with an overview of the Rural Infrastructure Fund program application cycle, and we will also provide guidance regarding application development and submission. It is our sincere hope that this webinar will facilitate your efforts to develop an application for a project that supports and improves your community. Today, we will be discussing the Florida Rural Infrastructure Fund application requirements and process. Our agenda is outlined here. Today, we will be covering introductions, the RIF fiscal year 2022-2023 program overview, the RIF fiscal year 2022-2023 appropriation and funding categories, RIF grant project types, RIF Panda Handle specific appropriation, funding application. After the formal presentation, we will answer questions using the Teams live event Q&A chat. The Rural Infrastructure Fund Program is a reimbursement grant program administered by DEO's Bureau of Small Cities and Rural Communities. The RIF program provides funding assistance for the planning, preparing, and financing of infrastructure projects in rural communities, which will encourage job creation, capital investment, and the strengthening and diversification of rural communities. The 2020 legislature appropriated a total of $30 million for the fiscal year 2022-2023 RIF program, which includes $25 million from the federal, state, and local recovery funds for the RIF program and RIF statewide funding as for $5 million from state funds for the Panhandle communities located in Calhoun County, Gadsden County, Holmes County, Jackson County, Liberty County, and Washington County. The RIF Panhandle Specific Appropriation Funding category is the focus of this webinar, and the eligible uses of funds include improvements or updates to public infrastructure that will enhance job creation and capital investment opportunities. A separate webinar was held for the Florida statewide appropriation to provide guidance for interested applications and discussed in detail some of the re regulatory requirements specific to that funding category. Next, we will look at the types of grants available under the RIF Panhandle Specific Appropriation Funding category. Eligible activities within all project types for the RIF Panhandle funds include those listed on the slide. Note the specific requirements for broadband internet projects include that internet service and access must be conducted through partnerships with one or more dealer, dealers registered with the Department of Revenue as a provider of communication services in Florida, and partnerships must be established through a competitive selection process that is publicly noticed. Additionally, activities that include improvements to inadequate infrastructure that has resulted in regulatory action are exempt from the participating party requirement of total project participation grants.
The first type of grant under the RIF program is the Total Project Participation Grant. These grant awards are intended to facilitate and maximize the use of state, federal, local, and private resources for infrastructure construction projects. DEO may award up to 50% of the total infrastructure project costs related to job specific creation or job retention opportunities. Other funds for the project must be identified and may be from federal, state, local, and or private sources. Additionally, other funds must be available prior to receiving a subgrant award. A participating party or job creator is required and the application must include a participating party letter documenting the number of new or retained jobs and amount of capital investment to be provided. The application should clearly demonstrate the need of the infrastructure project in attracting job creation and capital investment. Under the planning and preparation grant type, funds may be used for infrastructure feasibility studies, design and engineering activities, or other planning and preparation activities to facilitate a timely response and induce the location or expansion of specific job creating opportunities. Grant application criteria includes the extent to which administrative and consultant expenses are minimized. Note that administrative expenses are not reimbursable under RIF panhandle funding. This criteria is stated in statute. All communities within the RIF panhandle funding category are located within a rural area of opportunity or RAO. Northwest Rail, the maximum grant award for project planning and preparation grants is $300,000. Under the preclearance review grant type, funds may be used for surveys, feasibility studies, and other activities related to the identification and preclearance review of land which is suitable for preclearance review. Grant application criteria includes the extent to which administrative and consultant expenses are minimized. Note that administrative expenses are not reimbursable under RIF panhandle funding. As a reminder, this criteria is stated in statute. Maximum grant amounts and match requirements are those listed on the slide. Consider that most project activities eligible under the preclearance review grant category are also eligible under the project planning and preparation category. Next, we will discuss additional requirements that relate to the panhandle specific appropriation program of funding. The notice of funding availability for the RIF program was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on July 15, 2022. The application cycle opened on Friday, July 15, 2022, and will close on Wednesday, August 31st, 2022 at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Applicants that would like to submit their application electronically may do so using the department's Qualtrics online application submission portal. The instructions for electronic submission are available at www.floridajobs.org forward slash RIF. The applications may also be mailed or shipped to DEO using the address listed on the slide. Mail 
or electronic applications must be received by DEO no later than 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. As mentioned previously, eligible applicants for the RIF Panhandle Specific Appropriation Funding include the following units of general local governments and all mun municipalities within their boundaries. They are Calhoun County, Gaston County, Holmes County, Jackson County, Liberty County, and Washington County. RIF grant applications should clearly demonstrate the economic benefit of the project and its long-term viability. Evaluation of applications will include, but are not limited to, the applicant's capacity to administer the grant, the project's potential for enhanced job creation or capital investment, whether the project is located in a community development corporation, CDC service area, the unemployment rate of the county in which the project is located, and the poverty rate of the community. Grant administrative and consultant expenses should be minimized to the extent possible. DEO will monitor RIF funding recipients to ensure program compliance. DEO will also monitor each project throughout its life cycle, which may include a monitoring when about 15% of the awarded funds have been dispersed to ensure that the recipient has systems in place to properly comply with program requirements. Submission accordingly status reports are required and must detail the progress that has been made on the project and what steps will be taken in the next quarter. A conflict of interest is prohibited as defined by section 112.3143 of the Florida statute. Any conflict of interest must be disclosed and cannot be waived. Recipients of state funds equal, equal to or in excess of $750,000 in any fiscal year must comply 215.97 of the Florida statute. This threshold is based on the amount of all state funds received during a fiscal year. Additional information for consideration includes RIF panhandle grant funding may not be used to pay for administrative fees or costs. At DEO's discretion, funding may be approved for a lower amount than requested in the application. Additional resources and other RIF program information can be found on the DEO website at www.floridajobs.org forward slash RIF. DEO staff stands at the ready, ready to provide a technical assistance and answer any questions you may have. You may email at riff at deo.myflorida.com or call 850-717-8405 to discuss proposed projects, request additional information on the RIF program, or ask questions regarding the completion and submission of an application. That concludes our presentation. At this time, we will take a brief five minute break and we will answer any questions you may have regarding the rural infrastructure funding panhandle specific appropriation. Please enter your questions into the Q&A chat and we will return at 2.20.
Good afternoon and thank you once again. The presentation portion um, is over, but we're now open for the in answering any questions you may have regarding the rural infrastructure statewide funding. I'm sorry, panhandle funding. At this time, um, there was only one question in the chat. That question was, is there a minimum number of jobs expected to be created? Um, there is not a requirement for a specific um, or minimum number of jobs to be created through um, this, this particular panhandle appropriation. Um, there were no additional questions, but we wanted to remind everyone that we're in the process of finalizing a participating party form, which will be um, posted to our website as soon as possible. Okay. If there are no other questions, we want to thank you all for your participation in our webinar today. If you have any further questions, we encourage you to please visit our RIF program webpage for additional details and resources at www.floridajobs.org forward slash RIF. Additionally, you may contact us via the telephone at the number listed on the screen or via email at RIF at deo.myflorida.com. Thank you once again, and we hope you have a great day.